Oh, Sylveria. I was close. You got it, little dude. Oh my goodness. I'll do my so best. Cute. <laughs> best town. That's a pretty good there. town. Big in. Little people. <laughs>
Yeah, Sid is a two-hander thing, and it, he's better off using some of the other equipment we can go buy from him back at, back at Baron. Right. Cecil, I like keeping the Legend gear on him because it boosts all of his uh, his his wisdom or his will, which lets him cast magic you know, more effectively. So now... Oh, there's our... Uh, yeah. Keep that in mind for later. There is another place we can go, but I don't know if we is. want to. No, we can go there. We'll do it now. Not that we can really do anything with it, but... I just came... Oh, hey. That's a beefy something. Oh. Can't land nope. on it. It's not a helipad. Uh, there is something we can do here, yeah. but they're kind of too strong for us right that's, now. That's so. what I was wondering. Oh, no. I thought you were talking about this place. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, no. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Crush the innocent people of Agart. And take their crystal. <laughs> oh, oh interesting. Got yeah, like half dwarves here. Even that house right there is screaming. When you go outside, you'll know what I mean. Okay. Something red. Okay. <laughs> we have a sun, we call it lava. Yeah, definitely make for a good source of light. Hmm. That's what you get for bringing all the fracking in. Yeah. Poetic. Aw. You should write prophecies. Now, 50 gold, that's more like it. Yeah, and this is also kind of a large inn, truthfully. Big inn, kind of a rural small town, though. And also, I expect the mortal men to have a better concept of money than pigs, toads, and small folk. Touche. Small town, big hearts. Is this your grandma? Looks kind of like a grandma. That sounds really important. So, the ancestors came from the mountain. We have to fly into the mountain. And the way into the mountain is open with a key. Yeah, this is a lot of information we got from two NPCs. Very good, eh? Thanks, Grandma. Oh no. Uh oh. It's the dance in the hidden land. Whoa! New music. Huh. Slow spins. All right, so they're into slow spins. A little moonwalking. I, I, I gotta tell you, I'm not thrilled by this one. I'm moonwalking. <laughs> eh. This game is full of like little foreshadowings. Yeah, it is. Still, that, that dance is gonna be a no for me, dog. So, when you remember when you were lowering the <laughs> ship, <gasps> and you, that, that, that building was really sure that you were gonna squish it. These two were gritting their teeth, good bracing for impact. Yep. <laughs> Armor. What you got? Uh. Mm. Worse than the silver. Just gonna go ahead and uh, nope on out of that. And other shot. I don't think other shot has anything really good either. Right. A lot of stuff. And these are kind of cool. Actually, this is neat. That you can restock on uh, arrows. There you go. No harm in having a stack of those. Yeah. Do I have to actually sort them into their own pile? Yep. Yes, I do. So, boop, and up to 60. What's up, old guy? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, classic old guy. Did I talk to you? Yeah, I did. Did I talk to you? No. Oh, interesting. All right, then. Our family's been getting progressively weaker for generations. Uh, oh, oh hi. That's kind of creepy. You're right. Just lurking Inside in the, the dark corner. House. I can change your name. <laughs> oh, I'm good, man. Thanks. Uh, that's a cool looking, like, what is that? The well up there? I don't know. If this guy would ever get out of my way. Out of your naming way? Yeah. <laughs> An ancient well. A bottomless ancient well. 
I don't believe whales you. are important. Alright, well that's Okay. Thanks, Hessel. Ooh, unmarked buildings. Sometimes the most interesting. Profound statement. The Astro Tower. It this did look like an observatory. It's very unassuming for the Astro Tower. Also, oh. Home of the telescope. Something going on with the moon. Interesting. Speaking of foreshadowing. We did see a girl moonwalking back there. Stars of Dream. Go away. The constellations. The moon and human. Is that like a Harold and Maude story? That's my little notice. Oh, okay. Aw. Oh, we're back to this again. <laughs> Hi, Corey. We have two moons. Better than one moon. One's a simple moon. The other's Whoa. a dire moon. So it seems like a dire moon. The second moon is turning ruby red. And it's getting closer and closer to us. When the moon turns red, the planet will stop. Well, I see the, the one. The stars are so pretty. Wait, where's the other? I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at one moon here, bud. Huh. I wish we had rainbow-colored stars here. That would be neat. The galaxies and nebulas are cool colors, but we don't get to see those up close. Well, not really up close, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Right. Like, just by looking at with an, our naked eye. Hang in there, viewers. We're almost on exploring this town. Yep. And then it'll be on to where uh, Kane actually sent us to go. Actually, I think it's a really interesting town, honestly. It is. I like the little tidbits. Oh. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, they do a... Oh, that just loops around. Oh, okay. Get it back here. Yeah, they do a really good job kind of building up this town with, like, the layout. And the lore. Well, even just the different directions you can go and round it about. Too many, like, narrow passageways, though. Yeah. Too many one-tile entries. That are being blocked. <laughs> this would have made a really good town in Mystic Quest. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it would. Very physical. Move around a lot. Jump over people. All right, well, um, short of where we're supposed to go, I think it's kind of everything we can explore right now. Okay. Again, with the exception of this place, because it's just too strong for us right now. Sounds good. Although, actually... Do we want to risk it? Save and then risk it. Yeah. Risk it. The save first. Shall we... Uh, actually, risk no, I'm going to go uh, gear up sit at Baron first, then we'll risk it. At Baron? <laughs> Would a coward do this? All right, I'm interested. At Baron. Yeah, I think he, I'm pretty sure you can equip the same stuff that Yang has, which is better for him. Oh. One, it boosts his strength. Two, it's not made of metal, which will be important soon. That's right. Yeah, he can. He can. That. Whoa, we don't need no, ten. No, 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 no. Bad. That would have killed the run. Hey. Or at least forced us to do some grinding off screen. Right. Karate stuff. Nice. Right. Now he's the karate man. And honestly, ben, I'm not sure what else to put there. So it's I'm magic gonna... defense. Might as well. Yeah. Should also, do um, that. Sid Sprite looks like something out of a Miyazaki film. It really kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah, actually. Like, it's good, wow. It's a good pull. It's a great pull. It's the it's the uh, the guy who mines the furnace. The exactly. Away. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Oh, we can just sell this. We're never going to use that. Or that. It's the goggles and the beard. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, I don't want to keep two of those. Just keep yeah, them. Yeah, may as well. Yeah. Alright, now we can go risk around messing, messing around with that one town. After you save the game. After I save the game. I know when I played the, the DS version, I was so into it that sometimes I forgot to save, and I never forget to save. And I did so many times, I was so like, I, don't know, I was just really into it. And then I'd, <laughs> then I'd die and be like, well, this is it. All right. So, so this looks like, like a vulture looking at its own tail or something. Oh, it does. Okay, mysterious castle. Here goes nothing. 